what's up guys in this video i want to bring some awareness on the topic of neat pg or next or whatever that is going to be coming so where do i even start the motivation behind this video is an interesting thing you see right now i'm having third year examinations so i find myself going to the library a lot to study and at the library i find this recurring character this person who's there from 8 am till 8 pm right she's there before i come she's there after i go she's there she's always there and this got me curious who exactly is this person this person is not studying in our college and so i went up to her and i asked her you know what's up <laughs> what's with this <laughs> what's with this 12 hour study thing ha huh? what's with this intense preparation right and guess what yep she was preparing for neat and in that moment <laughs> it kind of clicked right me being a person who was just concentrated on university exams at that time to suddenly shift my focus on the fact that yep next year this time i will be too going through this phase of intense preparation it gave me flashbacks we can all agree that neat ug was tough and guess what neat <laughs> pgs on the way <laughs> so we better brace ourselves so that is what i want to talk in this video like as a fourth year student or as a third year medical student what it is that we can do what is that we can do early on to prepare ourselves for this upcoming examination so i digged deep i did some research and um, you know of the toppers and of the teachers and what they had to say what were their insights to how one medical student should go about studying or preparing for this exam so here are my topics the culmination of all the things that these people had had to say there is only one thing that is more expensive than education you know education in itself is very expensive in today's day and age but there is only one thing that is more expensive than education and that is ignorance so that is also the reason why i want to bring some awareness on the topic because let's not be ignorant and let us start taking steps right early on now the first point they have all shared is that starting in third year or starting in fourth year is good enough a lot of these toppers have become toppers in their first attempt so i think that we should let go of this of this notion of this idea that starting in third year or starting in fourth year is late when in fact it is actually quite early on we have to let go of that notion and we have to actually start believing now starting is good but do you know do you know what is great what's great is continuing or what's great is consistency all these toppers have actually said that they have done consistent work for about an year about an year of hard work is what actually changed the game for them and just like in every other field i think that consistency is underrated over here and i think that we are just simply unable to actually understand the the power of consistency right consistency it compounds and consistency also has this this momentum to it you know when you do something day in day out there's this momentum that is built and that actually takes us way further that we cannot even comprehend i guess judging by what the teachers and the toppers had to say um it is clear that this is indeed a marathon so it is important that we do something every day you know take a little step each and every day and make sure that consistency is on our side of the equation so those were the two points that kept recurring and that is that start early and be consistent so the third thing that they had to say was that there is no difference between and for the most part there's no difference between preparing for university examination and preparing for neat pg if we study very well for university examination that will invariably transfer on to neat pg preparation i mean just think about it it is the same syllabus so whatever that is we study for university examination will carry over to neat pg i think that entrance examination as such is just one or two steps ahead of university examination and with the new pattern of exam it is quite clear that the questions are focusing more on clinical stuff also broad understanding of concepts and what this means is that the line between entrance examinations and college examinations is actually is actually diminishing right the the line is becoming finer and finer so these were the overarching ideas that these toppers and the and the teachers had had to say now let us go on to talk about some solid tips that um, these people or these toppers and these teachers have given now firstly it is grand test in terms of entrance examination grand tests are your best friend grand test is what simulates the examination it will show us the blatant and a naked truth 
of how well we have prepared and also show us exactly where we are in the grand scheme of things. Everyone kept saying that you should give grand test from day one. From the start of your preparation, you should start giving grand test. And one other thing of giving a grand test is that we have to sit through a three hour examination. So giving those grand tests will actually give us that, that stamina to, to withstand to go through, to push through those three hours of examination. So all in all, Garant Test is simply your best friend when it comes to giving examinations. Now the next point is that all these toppers have had some kind of preparatory material going for the examination. Something that they used to revise efficiently in the last one month or in the last two weeks of examination to revise everything in such short notice. So I guess for the most part, these people have had made notes, you know, good quality notes, concise notes that they can revise last minute. Now personally, I'm not much of a fan of making notes. You know, I, I rather make some questions for myself so that the process of revision is more efficient. I have a video discussing why note making is not that efficient of a process, especially when you have less time to prepare. So I'll put a link up there. So the next point is about solving daily MCQs. The journey of a, of a thousand miles actually starts with a single step, right? So this, this single step in our context would be doing daily MCQs. With the advent of all the new apps such as Mario and ProFladder, doing these daily MCQs and solving them has not been easier. The friction to this process have become so negligible. So please do start doing daily MCQs because that is something that these toppers and these teachers, they have advocated. To start off, I think that we can do about one or two modules a day and build this habit of doing daily MCQs. So all in all, after doing this research, and you know, watching all the toppers and all the teachers, what they had to say. This actually reminded me of the scene from, from Kung Fu Panda. That scene where he opens the, the dragon scroll, the mysterious dragon scroll. And ultimately, what he finds is that this dragon scroll is empty. Likewise was my reaction after going through all this, right? To realize that all the stuff that we had actually discussed, I kind of knew a lot of it, right? It was not something that is totally new. It was something that I knew, but I forgot and then I got reminded of it. And it also reminded me of the fact that there is no secret sauce, and there, is no, there is no shortcut, right? The blatant and unsexy truth is that we have to put in the work day in, day out, consistently. That is like the summary of it. So I hope this video gave you some motivation, gave you some awareness on the topic of, of Neat PG, the fact that it is coming, the fact that we have to be ready for it, especially the 2017 match is the, is the first one to, to appear for next exam. So that will be something interesting nonetheless. So I guess the punchline is that you have time, just, you just have to start early, right? And stay consistent and do the work for just about an year. And that is it pretty much, you can achieve your dreams. I hope you guys got some value from this video. Like this video, if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one, peace.